Hey guys, how's it going? Today we are going to be looking at how to create a design in the customized app. So in the last video, if you haven't watched it, pause this one, go watch that one because we're going to build off that today. But in the last video, we showed you how to enable products, uh, print on demand products in your Shopify store through the customized app. So as you can see, that was completed last video. The next thing on our checklist here is creating a design. So What's the difference? Let's talk through that really quick. So what we did on the last video is we enabled a couple phone cases and I'll just jump over to my Shopify store so you can see what that looks like. So these products are now on my Shopify store. My customers could shop those products. They could customize them, purchase them, all good and great. The thing with a lot of different shoppers are they may need some inspiration or maybe they need a pre-made design to kind of start off their product. This is a great way to really, really inspire your customers into creating that design that they want. So today we're gonna to be creating several different designs. I've picked uh, dogs, so we're gonna kind of focus on like a dog niche. Like if we were going after an audience, these types of products are gonna help inspire them. While I'm going through this video, I want you to kind of think about what niches you could go after. I always suggest going after things you're passionate about, things you love and enjoy. Uh, maybe it's travel, maybe it's food, maybe it's a specific type of pet, outdoors, whatever that might be. I think that's where you should start because you'll, you'll be able to kind of gauge the design because you have a passion for it, which is going to make it a lot easier when you go to try to market that product on something like Facebook or Google, um, which again, we're going to create more videos on how to do that later. But for right now, let's focus on how to create the design. So. I'm gonna jump back to the customized app here. Um, and all the product designs are gonna be located over here in the designs option. So I'm gonna click that. Right now we're not gonna have any designs because this is a brand new store. We haven't created anything yet. But what we're gonna do is create a design. So I'm gonna hit create a new design. And this is gonna ask me what type of product. Again, we are gonna focus on phone cases today. And the next step here is gonna ask me what type of product do we wanna create? So what type of design do we wanna create? We have two types. We have a custom product and we have a non-custom product. And let me just explain the very basic idea between these two. Custom products will allow your customers to interact with that product and make tweaks to it. A non-custom product will not allow your customer to make any changes to it. They will simply be able to add that product to the cart so they will not be able to customize. So the difference here, um, you know, we have a lot of people that are artists and they're selling maybe a canvas or a phone case with their artwork on it. They don't want people to really modify that, right? That's their art, the way they want it displayed on a product. So they may use non-custom. Whereas today we're gonna to be talking about how to, how to inspire your customers with custom products. So we're gonna do custom. And the first step is giving the product a title. So we're just gonna call this uh, dog photo case. Uh, and then the next slot is going to ask me what prop our phone types we're gonna do. And we're gonna do all the ones that we have enabled. And again, the last video is where we enabled these. So these are gonna be the options. I'm just gonna select them all. What finishes do we want on the phone type or on the phone cases? We'll just select them all, case type. Again, let's just do extra protective and slim. And then down here, we kind of preload a product description. This is something that you can overwrite. And if you want to put in your own wording in there, you're more than free to do so. That's where you do that. And right now I'm going to hit create product design. So this step is going to ask me, what is my main product? The main product is essentially what is your main image going to be on your Shopify store from which product. Also, which product are we going to design from? And I'll show you what I mean by that. So we're going to just select the iPhone 12 extra protective. I'm just picking a random one. Uh, we're going to, we're going to design off this. And for this, you know, we have all the different layout options again, which is a really cool feature that allows you to collage items, um, collage designs together with multiple photos, multiple backgrounds. For this example, we're just gonna do a full image. 
and I'll hit upload and I'm going to drag over one of my dog photos. So I'm just going to let's kind of zoom this one in, kind of do a headshot here. That looks pretty good. Save it. What I can do from here, um, if you have the pro plan, your customers will have the ability to view items in 3D. So we'll just show you what that looks like real quick. It's a really cool feature that allows you to kind of see all angles of the product. So this will give you an idea. Okay, yeah, that looks pretty good. And I'm going to go back to the edit mode. All right, so that looks good. Let's add some text to this. Like maybe we want to add the pet's name to it. Um, so I'm going to do Cooper. We'll do that font looks good. I think white will look good here. Maybe, yeah, we'll just do white. And then, you know, so this is all stuff your customers are going to be able to modify. But again, we're just creating the design to inspire them. And actually now that I see, I don't love how the white looks on that background. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to change that. Let's go with blue. That stands out a little better. So let's save that. Well, let's make sure it's the line. So again, vertical alignment, that looks pretty good. I'm going to hit save. And then let's add, let's see, what else can we add? Let's add some clip art. Clip art is something you have full control over uh, from, your, from, your, from the customized app. You can disable these, you can add your own complete control over these graphics. I'm going to do the paw print. And we're going to put that like right there. That looks pretty good. I'm going to vertical, or I'm sorry, I'm going to center that. Perfect. And then from here, let's just say that we're, we're happy with this. I'm going to hit Save Design. And the first thing it's going to do is it's going to ask you, your design is being created for all the variants. What that means is we are creating that design on all the variants that you selected. So the all the iPhone 12s, that Samsung, all those variants, we're going to create that design. Would you like us to sync to your store now? I'm going to hit yes. What this is going to do is we're generating all those product images. And at the same time, we're going to create that product on your Shopify store. So this part can take a few minutes, but essentially what we're doing is we're loading all the different images, that design on all the different variants. So we'll just give that a minute here. All right, so you can see them starting to populate. And it looks like we're almost done here, so I'm just gonna view them all. And it's a good time to call this out. So if you don't like we do our best to place the design onto the various different products, but all the different products have different sizes. So in some cases you may see, you don't necessarily like how the photo was placed or how the text was placed. From here, you can actually go into an individual variant. Let's just say I didn't like how this one looked. I could go in and mo modify that individual product if I wanted to. So let's just say I, I wanted to um, let's just say I wanted to move the text up a little bit on this one. I can do that. Hit save. So it's going to save that individual variant. See that? Move the text up. But if you're happy with how they're all placed, you won't even need to do that. You can see, I, I always like to go through and review just to make sure, but these all look pretty good. So I think I'm happy with that. I'm going to go back to the designs page. I can click designs here. I can also hit return to designs up here. And what you'll see on this main page is this is in progress. It's syncing to my store. So what we're going to do, let's create another one while we, while we're waiting on that one. Let's go ahead and create another design. We're going to do a phone case again. This one, me and my dog, case. Let's do Rex Packet Slam. Let's 
selecting the same main product again. We'll do full uh, again on this one. And I'm going to upload a photo again. This one doesn't look great, but if I rotate it, I think it'll look really cool. Yeah, that looks great. Save. And for this one, maybe I want to add, uh, let's add a heart. Looks good. And maybe I'm happy with that. I'll just say that that looks good. Save design. Again, it's going to go through. It's going to create all those variants. I'm going to say yes. And you'll see the message allow up to five to 10 minutes. Again, a lot of this has to do with how busy our app is and also how busy Shopify is at the time. So you can see those images created pretty quickly. If I go back to designs, I've now got my, my two designs there. What you'll notice now is this one has a product ID. Once it has a product ID, that means we've created it on Shopify. This is a product on Shopify. So if I, if I click this, it's gonna open up that product in Shopify. So I can see here was the product description. Again, if you overwrite it on there, it's gonna show your product description, and then it's gonna show all the images, all the variants, all that stuff is there. Not stuff really even need to worry about because our app's gonna create that on, on your behalf. But if I go now to my store, there's that product. And what's really cool, um, about the the designs is we're going to automatically create product photos in 3d for you so if i open up this and we look at ooh, that really is huge let me just scroll down this theme it looks like it shows them not in the thumbnail but you can kind of see the different angles that we show of the product which is a really cool feature so gives your customer an idea of what it looks like from all angles, it gives you some really nice product images on your product page by default. Now, what do we wanna talk about here is your customer, this isn't gonna be your customer's dog, this is likely gonna be your customer's name of their dog, so they're gonna to wanna to modify that, but what happens now, if I go in and I say I want an iPhone 12, let's say your customer's design an iPhone 12, they wanna customize this. What's going to happen is we're going to automatically preload that same design that you created. But instead of your customer having to go in, delete that photo, and then add their own photo, we're going to instruct our system to do that automatically. And the way that we do that, I'm going to back up here. So if I just go back to the product page here, I'm gonna go back to the app. There's that design. I'm gonna add some design actions. And I'll show you what that does. So do you wanna delete layouts when your customer loads that design? For this design, absolutely, because they're not gonna want that photo, right? They're gonna to want to add their own picture, their own pet. So what we're gonna do is have that automatically deleted when they load it. Number two, do we want to prompt them to edit the text? Yes, we do. We want to have them modify the Cooper text because they're going to want to put whatever their pet's name is. So these are ways to, you know, if you don't do this, your customer can still do it. It just streamlines things or it makes it a little easier on your customer, a little less steps involved to create that perfect customized product. So I'm going to go ahead and hit save design here. And now we'll see exactly how this, I'm going to refresh it. So now when I go in and create product, you're going to see the background's been removed and I'm automatically jumping right to the text. So now I could say, You know, I can put my own pet name in, modify that text. Maybe I didn't like the blue, I want it in yellow. And hit save there. 
And now I go back to photo and there's, I don't have to remove anything. It's blank. I can go ahead and upload my own dog. Say I want uh, this one. And so now I've got my own dog, my own, my own name. I've added my own colors. I can add this to the cart. So this gives you a good idea of how you can inspire customers. So like if I start building these products out, and there's my second product now, you can start to imagine a page that your customers go to that has all these different types of designs to inspire them. Like they're going to look at this and say, oh, I could see my dog on there. Or I could see this being a picture of me and my pet. That's kind of the idea behind designs. We are creating a way to inspire your customers. So I hope this video was helpful. Check out the next videos where we go more into the, some of the other features of the tool. Um, if you have any questions, don't hesitate to reach out. We're more than happy to assist. But until next time, we'll see you guys in the next video. Thanks.